and this video is the second in a two-part series of DIY back to school supplies where I show you how to take your school supplies from boring to beautiful using ribbon. For this project you'll need some pencils, some thin ribbon, this gorgeous ribbon was sent to me by May Arts Ribbon who are sponsoring this video. You'll also need some Fabri-Tac and this is the only adhesive that I recommend to use with silk. Start by spreading the Fabri-Tac over a small area of the pencil near the eraser and begin wrapping your ribbon around it. You don't want it globbed on, it's best to actually spread it out a little bit before you put the ribbon on it or the moisture in the glue will soak through the ribbon and leave a dark mark on it. Then cut it diagonally when you get to the bottom of the pencil and smooth it around with one last bit of glue. I fully wrapped two pencils and partially wrapped one. For the next project, you'll need two different colors of felt, your Fabri-Tac, scissors, a pencil, a ruler, some popsicle sticks, and of course, your gorgeous ribbon. I'm using a nice wide ribbon for this project. Start by laying your two different colors of felt, one on top of the other, and then figure out how much you need to cut off of the felt for it to be a good size for your pencil holder. It doesn't need to be that much longer than your pencils, so just cut it according to what you plan to hold in it and cut off any excess on the sides so that your felt pieces are exactly the same size. This is optional, but I folded mine over and rounded off the corners. You don't have to do this step if you want to just leave the corners square, that's fine, but I think it finishes it up nicely to round them off. Then you'll need to place one of your pencils or markers underneath the top layer of your felt to figure out how long you need the slits to be. I wanted to cut these slits at about three quarters of an inch and I did the first ones about half an inch apart, starting about two inches down from the top of the felt, and then the next ones the same distance from each other, a couple inches from the bottom of the felt. You'll want to make sure that you use your ruler to make sure that they are actually the right length, because you want them to all be cut the exact same way so that none of your pencils will slide around. And if you want to hold a lot of pencils in your case, you can do yours closer together, but I just used the ruler as a convenient spacer to make sure I put all of my tabs equidistant from each other. And then I used the exact same measurements, repeating this step as I worked my way across the pencil holder, leaving a few inches at the end because that is going to cover up your pencil case once it's closed. Next, fold over your felt so you can start cutting the slits, unfold it, and then finish cutting the slit with the scissors regularly. You can try just stabbing through it, but you're probably going to ruin the felt that way, so I prefer to get the slits started by folding them over and then cutting them the rest of the way. Next, leave your felt with the side that has the pencil marks facing up and begin adding your Fabri-Tac. You're going to want to add glue pretty much everywhere except for the areas between each set of slits. Otherwise, you're basically going to glue shut the area where you're going to have to pull the tab out on the other side to store your pencils. So put a good amount of Fabri-Tac everywhere else, then put your solid piece of felt on top of it and press it into place. And if you did this correctly, there should not be any adhesive on the other side of your tabs, so they should all just pop up. Next, you'll want to cut your ribbon diagonally at the end, and then roll up your pencil case so you know exactly how much you need to cut to tie it shut. Loop your ribbon around it and then cut the other end. Then grabbing both ends of your ribbon, find the center and position that approximately over the left edge of your pencil case. In this case, this would be the end that has the tabs closest to it, and the side that does not have any slits cut in it would be on the opposite side. Smooth out a little bit of your Fabri-Tac glue and press your ribbon into place. It will hold securely, just make sure you don't have any globs of glue and spread a nice thin layer. And that is your finished pencil case. Just load it up with your pencils, roll it up, and tie it shut in a pretty little bow. I love how this one turned out. It's so simple and cute. And of course, if you wanted to hold more pencils, you could always cut more slits. For your next project, you'll need something to protect your work surface, some cardstock, scissors, a hole punch, Fabri-Tac, popsicle sticks, and of course, your wide ribbon. 
Begin by measuring a piece of cardstock to the size of your ribbon. Make sure you don't cut the ribbon and just use that ribbon as a marker point to cut two slits on either end of the cardstock. Then fold it over and press the fold. And when you unfold that same piece of cardstock, you'll have a nice straight line to follow so that you know you can cut it out and it will be the same width as your ribbon. Cover that with a nice amount of Fabri-Tac and smooth it all the way up over the edges of your cardstock. Make sure you get all over the entire piece of cardstock so that your ribbon will stick evenly. Then line up the exact edge of the ribbon with the edge of the cardstock and carefully press it into place. Smooth it out. You can also use a clean popsicle stick to smooth it out if you're having trouble getting the bubbles of air out. Then cut one end at a diagonal and use a hole punch on the opposite end. Cut a nice short length of your pretty thin ribbon. Feed both ends through the hole that you punched and then feed those ends back through the loop at the center of the ribbon and pull it all the way through. And that is your finished bookmark. If you want, you can seal up the ends of the ribbon with a little bit of Fabri-Tac. And for the next one, cover that piece of cardstock the exact same way with a nice amount of Fabri-Tac. Position your ribbon carefully, and then on one end, round it off and punch a hole in that same end. Feed that thin ribbon through the hole the exact same way, and then back through its own loop, pulling it tight. I actually ended up cutting a much longer length for this one. And that's all there is to it. For this next project, you'll need any old set of watercolor paints, a little bit of water, some white feathers, plain old pens, scissors, Fabri-Tac, and of course, your thin ribbons. Start by putting a little bit of water on your fingertip and then pick up your paint with that water and start brushing it gently onto the feather. I'm actually doing a bit of a gradient pattern to match the gradient and the colors in my ribbons, but you can do any sort of color palette you want or even leave these as plain white feathers. Just be very gentle and make sure you get it on both sides of the feathers and be creative and have fun with it. Once your feathers are completely dry, measure how long you want them to be off of the end of the pen. Then cut them to that length and cut off any excess plumage so that you have a nice stem to work with. This is going to give you something to adhere to the tip of the pen. Put a nice amount of Fabri-Tac around the whole tip of the pen, glue the bottom portion of the feather onto it, and then use the ribbon to cover the very top of the pen, and then pull it down over the side of the pen you'll have to fold it sort of over on itself so that the opposite side is now facing out. And then from there, you can wrap it down around the entire pen. Use your Fabri-Tac as you go and smooth it out until you get to the very bottom. Then cut it at a diagonal and finish wrapping it around the pen. I did a few of these in different colors and I really love the way they turned out. I decided to make a cute little jar that would coordinate with them nicely. I just filled it with a gradient of glass beads and then tied both different widths of ribbon around the top. And that gave me a nice adorable little matching jar to put my pens in. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and follow me on social media at Katrinaocity. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these DIY back to school projects. And if you want to see how to make these gorgeous silk ribbon covered notebooks, make sure to check out the other video in this series.